I'm Kayla Harrison. I'm Riley Westerholt. I'm Natalie Harrison. <coughs> I'm Amanda Marco. We're from Waverly High School. <laughs> and this is Letters to Walt Disney. Dear Walt Disney, You completely ruined our favorite characters. You took animations and made them abominations. First off, let's talk about the princesses. Mary's movie was called Great. I mean, ignoring the fact that she fought a bear and refused to choose a husband while simultaneously keeping peace along the clans is just preposterous. Her fiery locks were brave all on their own. That was three years of animation. On her hair. She is not a Barbie. She has a stomach. Did you even, even watch her movie? She took an entire plate of pastries. Not one or two, an entire plate. She is a fearsome princess and she shoots a bow. Try to change her appearance again and, and she, she won't be the only one stringing an arrow. Dear Walt, what was so charming about Cinderella's prince? He couldn't even remember what she looked like. They danced all night. He really had to make every single girl in the kingdom try on the shoe. He couldn't even roll out the brunettes. <laughs> Dear Walt, oh, bother. Don't even get me started on Winnie the Pooh. Maybe slow down on the honey, Winnie. Your stomach seems a ripping. Like, what logic are you using, Walt? Seriously, what are we teaching kids? That rain is black? Like your soul? Or the piglets never corrupt? Or that the tigers, tigers are indigenous to the United States? And why is he more so depressed all the time? He's a donkey, the symbol of perseverance. Not, Not a slow doormat with no home delay in front of. Why is Rabbit so insane about his garden? What, what is, is he growing in there? And why is he growing lettuce? <laughs> and why is he growing lettuce? A traditional spring plant with carrots and a season plant. Was Christopher Robin high? Is that what's in Rabbit's garden? Dear Walt, get a clue. Why does a family need a strangely endless supply of honey? Why do you play toys need more food than a family that isn't low income enough to receive food stamps? Can you explain that, Walt? Can you explain why everything is bittersweet? Why we turn to your stories in search of comfort? Can you explain why death always follows life? Why we can connect with the loss of Simba's father as, as if you are our own flesh and blood. Wrapped around our bones like the childhood stories you provided us with. Can you explain why these tall tales aren't enough? Why Kuna Matata is just a saying and not the way we are living. We want to have no worries. But you yourself know that is impossible. So you gave us a dose of your life in every movie. You eased us into this world that wants to tear our imaginations to shreds. You made, made us laugh when we thought we'd cry Walt Disney. You gave us a spoonful of sugar to help the medicine go down. We gave you nothing but critique after critique. You told us to wish upon a star. And we saw streetlights instead. So we didn't believe you when you told us that our dreams could come true. And we're sorry. We didn't mean to twist your plot. So there was a mere image of pollution. We turned imperfect works of imagination into flood cartoons. You showed us we all make mistakes. And we didn't want to believe you. We even falsified it by our own miscommunications. So we shoved it down the throats of people everywhere, expecting them to give up their dreams for the real world. And we are terribly sorry. Yours truly, the Young at Heart. Yeah.